I can't really emphasize enough what effect Vanessa had on the little sisters of our generation, her little sisters, the, um, the actors. And I was talking to my sister-in-law, my own sister-in-law, last week about you, and it's not the first time. She's a poet and an actress, and she said, um, well, you know what it is about Vanessa. The minute you saw her, you became a devotee. <laughs> and you determined that you would see everything she was in. And you sort of had to prep for it. If, if she was going to be in a play, you read the play. And if it was going to be a film, you read everything about the film, the director, the writer, you knew. Because she was going to ask something of you in this way. She's going to give more than anybody else, of course. But she also was going to call something up. So you had to kind of be ready emotionally and intellectually and even, even spiritually because um, something was going to be asked of you. And that's so rare, and it, it's addictive. So we watched everything you were in. I was in my first film, Julie, I was 27. And I didn't have any scenes with Vanessa. Um, all my scenes were with Jane, who showed me what a mark was, and <laughs> how to hit it, and how if you didn't, you wouldn't be in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> So I was really grateful to Jane, <laughs> although <laughs> I had two scenes in the movie. They cut one, and they put the scenes from the one that was cut into my mouth for the second scene. So it's like the worst debut, I think, <laughs> anybody's ever made. And I never got to work with you, Vanessa, but I got to share the car with you. And I was 27. I was right out of drama school, a year out. And I thought, what am I going to say to her? What am I going to say to her? Because we share, we went back and forth. And I was just completely tongue-tied, but it, it just didn't matter because the minute you got into the car, you did all the talking. <laughs> From the time we got into the car, the time we got out. <laughs> and it was all about politics and things about Trotsky. I didn't know anything about Trotsky. I mean, I was really dim, I admit it. And, um, you know, concentrating on my hair in the movie, which <laughs> was important, but it wasn't. So I never, I never made the connection with you that I dreamed of making with my goddess. And um, until, of course, I saw Julia. And when I saw Julia, I, I mean, that scene, that scene is absolutely astonishing, really, really amazing. And I, re I remember having the same, I haven't seen it since the first time I saw it. And I went to the movie thinking, oh, it's my first movie, it's my first movie, I can't even remember me in the movie. <laughs> and this scene was so incredibly intimate and it, it made me think of the privilege we have as actors, that we, we do get to love each other. That's what we get paid for, which is just remarkable. It's like prostitutes or something. <laughs> we get, we p get paid to feel what, and express what <clears throat> people can't in their normal lives. So. I did get to act with you in a real scene in a movie, in the evening. Ah, and we, and I was, because it was a real proper scene, and I was so grateful for that chance. We just had the one scene. I had the one day, and was nervous again. And um, we played very, very old friends. And you were very ill. And I came back from your past to see you. And in a very short time, space of a little scene, we cover pretty much all the things that I want to say to you. So you say, no, I say, I never expected as much as you did. And you say, I expected so much. Yes, I said, you did. And you got so much. My God.
you were wonderful standing up there so beautiful so strong and brave so full of hope oh there's nothing you said well it was something to me I think about it I still think about it that's the scene I mean what else can I say to you I love you and um, I, I thank you for a lifetime of inspiration and I want you to keep it up because we all speaking on behalf of the group need it